From the first Jifang car launched in Changchun to the mass production of the first Dongfeng CA-71 sedan, from joint ventures to self-produced branded cars, China's auto industry has achieved leapfrog development in the past 70 years. Nowadays, the new Chinese cars with labels such as New Energy and Autonomous Driving are not inferior to the brand cars of other countries in terms of appearance and performance. At present, China is breaking the pattern of the international auto market that has been monopolized by countries such as Europe, America, Japan, and South Korea for more than half a century. In this era of rapid development of new energy vehicles in China, it also ushered in the era of domestic automobiles going overseas. What is the current sales volume of China's cars in the international market? How can China's new energy vehicles be branded overseas? What are the advantages of China's new energy vehicles? What is the current construction of China's overseas supporting sales system? Your vision is your world. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age. Now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Has the era of China's new energy vehicle going to the international market really come? The answer is yes. Last year, China's automobile exports exceeded 2 million and the export volume increased by 304.6% year-on-year. The high-end, intelligent and cell phone brand automobiles achieved dazzling results, and China's new energy vehicles were very popular. For example, BYD's overseas new energy vehicles are widely used in public services and have received orders for 48 12-meter pure electric buses in Hungary. It is expected to deliver 1,472 pure electric buses in Bogota, Colombia by the end of 2022. Besides, BYD Yuan Plus, one of the most advanced SUVs representing China's new energy industry, has surpassed 30,000 orders in Australia. Xiaopeng Motors, represented by new energy vehicles, entering the international market with a high profile in 2020. In 2021, it has sold more than 1,000 units and deliver 486 units in Europe, making it one of the earliest new-build vehicles to be exported overseas. This year, Xpeng Motors has launched the first four P5 reservations in Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway and Sweden. The development trend of automobile electrification and intelligence provides Chinese car companies with a broader space for overseas development. However, for the new Chinese car companies represented by BYD and Xiaopeng, there is still a way to go to see if new energy vehicles can come out of the world-class car brands and truly integrate into the family overseas. Then, how can China's new energy vehicles be branded overseas? At present, most of China's new energy vehicles adopt the direct sales model, which may not be feasible overseas. Compared with Tesla and other brand cars, Chinese new energy vehicles are not well known and have no advantages in overseas markets. It also needs promotion and publicity from overseas distributors to build up the brand image. Taking Xpeng Motors' retail model of direct sales and authorization in Europe as an example, it seems that the advantages of the two models are compatible, but in fact the disadvantages are obvious, that is, the high cost. Compared with BYD's large-scale subsidized dealers, Xiaopeng Motors is obviously insufficient in subsidies. Of course, the situation of each car company is different, and the sales model will be different, but the key point is that if you want to gain a foothold overseas, you must make your own brand famous. So, what are the advantages of China's new energy vehicles going overseas? At present, with the reduction of fuel resources and the continuous increase in prices, new energy vehicles may gradually replace fuel vehicles. If you want to stand out in the international market, it must have unique features and incomparable advantages. Xpeng Motors has developed very steadily in China. Even in the face of the epidemic and chip shortage crisis in 2021, it still ranks first in the ranking of domestic-produced new energy car companies, and its advantages in autonomous driving are very outstanding. Of course, 
This technology is based on a large amount of data accumulation and is suitable for China's domestic environment. However, once it reaches the overseas market, it cannot be used directly due to the influence of various factors. The reason why BYD Yuan Plus is very popular in Australia and has achieved orders of 30, 000 plus shows that China's new energy models have the ability to open up the most core developed markets overseas. In addition, the overseas supporting service system of China's new energy vehicles is very important. When a new energy vehicle is produced in China and shipped overseas, tariffs, logistics fees, etc. are all really high costs. The export mode of the whole vehicle affects the reputation of after-sales service, after all, a part of the after-sales service needs to be transferred from distant foreign countries, not to mention the long time and increased costs. Compared with the local new energy vehicles of Tesla and Volkswagen, many consumers will choose local vehicles for after-sales service reasons. In the long run, if we want to gain a foothold in the international market, we need to build local factories, relying on local factories to continuously improve functions and technologies suitable for the local environment, in order to better meet the needs of local consumers. At present, the competition in China's domestic market of car companies is extremely fierce, and expanding overseas markets has become the development direction of many car companies. In the early years, Li Shufu, chairman of Geely Automobile, realized the dream of making Chinese cars go all over the world in advance. Great Wall Motor Chairman Wei Jianjun's rhetoric that he will die abroad is a prospect for overseas markets. He Xiaopeng of Xiaopeng Motors asserts that China's smart cars will go global in the five years from 2025 to 2030. For a brand new brand like Xiaopeng Motors, if you want to develop the market overseas, you must have a comprehensive consideration, and it will take a period of continuous operation to develop your own brand and appeal in the overseas market. At present, many overseas car owners have realized that the advantages of new energy vehicles over fuel vehicles are obvious, and many car owners do not want to drive fuel vehicles after driving new energy vehicles. The progress of Chinese-made new energy vehicles in overseas markets may not be smooth, and it will take a process, but BYD Yuan Plus has made a good start. I believe that more overseas consumers will like high-end Chinese new energy vehicles. Have you ever driven a local new energy vehicle in China? How does it feel to drive? Do you like it? Do you think it is possible for a Chinese local car brand to develop into a world-renowned brand? If so, which company do you think is most likely? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.